electric vehicles have gone past being the future. And they're now the present. Tesla as well as a few legacy car makers have done extensive work to push the worldwide acceptancy of battery powered vehicles, and there's some notable impact already. There are several benefits to electric cars, and one of the greatest ones is that environmental pollution will be reduced. No matter how great this mission is, there is one huge snag. The current lithium ion batteries in use would not be greater for the needed efficiency. The perfect solution already exists. The solid state battery. The battery has been in development for years, and now car giant Toyota has got a new breakthrough set to preview this year. If you are wondering what the solid state battery is, watch this video until the end, and we'll also tell you how Toyota plans will impact the industry. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more high quality content just like this. As good as electric cars have gotten, and with all the progress made, there is still a lot to make better. With the range and charging time, there's still a lot to improve if they will compare with petrol vehicles. Solid state batteries hold the most likely solution. Solid state batteries have been studied for almost 70 years, and have been in production for over 10. However, this battery technology has still not broken out, and this may have something to do with all of the problems that have come with it. As with everything else in life, there's a great side to the battery, and some hiccups too. Toyota has a long-standing history of leading the pack. This mentality has helped it to grow into the top automakers in the world. They sell billions of cars across the world yearly, and people have speculated that this profit is why the company has been dragging its feet about jumping into electrification. Recent announcements have shown that to be a stretch. Toyota has been on the solid state battery research line since 2012. The company has made so much progress that it has over a thousand registered patents related to the battery. This, combined with a $19 billion funding from the Japanese government for work involving the solid state battery, is proof that somehow they were bound to have the answer. Before we dive further into that, what even is the solid state battery? The battery lives according to its name. It is using a solid electrolyte instead of the liquid or polymer gel that shows up in the lithium ion batteries being used today. They work largely like these lithium ion batteries, as they still have anodes and cathodes at separate ends, with an electrolyte that carries charged ions through the battery. When power is discharged, there is oxidation at the anode, and compounds with the free flowing electrons are created, which gives out electrical energy. Other compounds created at the cathode gain electrons, and that is how power is stored in the battery. Charging the battery reverses this process. So with that science lesson over, how could this battery help with the electric vehicle takeover? Well, the solid state battery technology has a higher energy density than the regular battery. The density difference could go from 2 to 8 times the regular density. Amazingly, this has no impact on the weight of the battery, and even reduces the fire risk. When the fire risk is reduced, there would be a lot of safety procedures removed, because they aren't needed. This would open up more space in the battery pack that could then see more power added. Also about 70-80% to 80 of the heat in normal batteries is eliminated here, and there is less toxicity with this technology. Elements in the regular batteries have also been seen to be capable of a lot of harm, right from production. This isn't something to be worried about with the solid state batteries though. There is an amazing advantage of faster charging time. The battery is developed to cut the charge time of an electric car from hours to mere 15 minutes. Higher cycle life, greater range, and higher voltages add to the list of good with this technology and everything else that comes with it. Let's go back to Toyota's battery. What is it bringing to the table? Toyota is pushing the range for EVs. This new battery technology can offer a maximum range of 500 kilometers, and charging time is faster too. From 0 to 100% in just 10 minutes, it's mind-blowing, and that is just what Toyota is offering. The company's experts claim that this output comes with a minimal safety concern. The traditional lithium-ion battery needs a lot of upgrades to offer more than 250 kilometers of range. That means that Toyota is offering up to double the normal number without taking up too much interior space. This battery is coming with the car that Toyota previewed in 2020. The SUV will be built on Toyota's ETNGA platform. Toyota remarks that this new platform allows for development times for different model variants to be reduced and individual models to be developed in parallel. According to the company, the first model based on the ETNGA platform is already being developed and will soon be ready for production. The model is still nameless, but reports say that it will be produced at a battery electric vehicle plant in Japan and was a joint effort with the development team at Subaru. The car, a mid-sized SUV, is expected to debut this year, but only with the prototype form. 
so we can't see the full production version until sometime in 2023 or 2024. After that, other ETNGA products will follow, and that includes a smaller compact model being developed with Suzuki and Daihatsu. Another mid-sized crossover, a large SUV, a sedan, and a minivan make up the six models based on the new platform structure. Now, this is not just some announcement to stir attention. There's already manufacturing in progress for the company's ideas. Other companies in Japan that manufacture vehicle materials are in a rush to set up because automakers are already beginning the demand. One company, Mitsui Mining, is planning a facility that will produce the solid electrolytes needed for the battery. The site that they will set up will have the capability to produce a lot of solid electrolytes per year. The volume would run into dozens. Production will most likely begin in earnest next year to meet up with prototype orders. For the EV community, this is a dream come true. So why haven't we had them in the market before now? No tech is perfect and this is no exception. Let's see some of the issues the solid state battery comes with. Solid state batteries are expensive to produce. They cost a lot more than the regular ones in use now. One 20 AH battery was said to cost $100,000 to produce in 2012. If a car could run on one of these batteries, that could still be managed. As it stands, one electric car would need a thousand of these playing card sized batteries to work. That would work against the plan to make electrified cars as affordable as current ones running on internal combustion engines. However, if Toyota and the other battery makers are aiming to produce them in the next five years, we can assume that they will have some sort of plan to undercut the cost of these batteries. There is also a problem with temperature. Historically, solid state batteries have had many issues with performing properly in cold weather. If colder temperatures can affect output, what happens in the long run? Durability is ultimately shaky because of this, but Toyota might just have a way out though. Who knows? They would definitely want to avoid all the lawsuits that could arise, so it wouldn't be surprising to hear that they've got a plan for that. Another weird problem would be dendrite formation in the battery. When charging and discharging, these needle-like structures form on the anode, and they could cause long-term destruction from the inside out. This has a solution that has been worked out in science research since 2018, so Toyota only has to apply it to escape the problem. Now, Toyota is the only automobile manufacturer with a plan to use solid-state battery technology. Nissan and Volkswagen are also in the race, and Volkswagen even partnered up with another company to produce theirs. They could begin production as early in the future as 2025. VW's partner is also called the Quantum Scape. Now, this is a team that is confident that they have solved all the basic problems that plague solid-state battery technology. The company's founder and CEO, Jagdeep Singh, says that it took the company 10 years and around $300 million in research and development before they found a solid-state separator that suited their technology. We didn't have some divine revelation that said, this material is going to work, go build it, Jagdeep said. We had to go through a lot of dead ends, but nature did provide a material that meets the requirements, and luckily, through our systematic research process, we were able to find it. The major challenge that they spent time fighting was discovering a separator that would allow free flow of lithium ions while blocking dendrites, and now they have succeeded. The key? A flexible ceramic separator, and they have refused to reveal what it is made of. Singh assures us that it does occur naturally and is cheap. This is not just word of mouth from the company. They have produced the data to prove it. Their testing has shown that they have overcome the problem of slow charging and short life cycles too. They have proven that their battery can charge from 0 to 80% in 15 minutes in testing, and the battery would still maintain 80% of its capacity after 800 charge cycles. Their battery is non-combustible and has a volumetric density of more than 1000 watts per liter, which is nearly double the energy density of the best lithium ion cells. Singh says, the results that we showed demonstrated that we could actually run these batteries under real-world operating conditions. The fundamental technology has been run by our automotive customers in their labs, so we know the technology works. Declarations like this, while sweet, should be accepted with a wait and see approach. Should the solid-state battery deliver on its full potential, it is not just the automobile industry that benefits. MIT researchers have created a foam battery that can last up to three days and has the major solid-state battery problem solved. Samsung's experimental solid-state battery has also been in the news. It works up to 900 watt-hours per liter and more than 1,000 charge cycles. This is equal to a car that has over 800 kilometers of range, a bit higher than what Toyota is promising. This means that solid-state batteries will have many avenues to become effective within the decade. Between this and the fall of regular battery prices by about 88%, the specification mission seems to be ready to be fulfilled quickly.
Toyota has always been on top of its production and promises, so it isn't likely that they will fail this time. Let us know what you think about it, and thank you for watching this video. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!